We have another qualifier challenge in the event tab in Clash of Clans. And it is using that Yeti Super Archer Smash attack that we have been seeing in the professional competitive gameplay. Not only that, but we have another champion skin added that is part of the World Championship skin. Uh, we got the 2021 Champion Queen skin that goes just absolutely perfect with our Champion King skin that we got in last year's World Championship. So if you guys haven't gathered those skins, super cool. I know that a little bit expensive, but they are cool skins and they have cool effects when you use their abilities. What's up today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. As we were talking about previously, we are going to go over this last chance qualifier event, showing you guys how to easily three-star this base. So if you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright guys, so like I was telling you guys previously, we are using the Yeti Super Archer Smash Attack. We also have 5 freezes in this RB composition, 4 Earthquake Spells, and 4 Skeleton Spells as well to go with this. Uh, I've tried to attack from some of the different corners of the base, and it just wasn't really working for me. The most success I've found is just coming directly from that... Uh, Multi-target Inferno Eagle Artillery Compartment. I know when this attack happened against P. Castro in the last chance qualifier. Um, they He was using Yetis to take off some of the Archer Towers and also took off that top Archer Tower as well. That way he didn't have to worry about it later on the attack. So we'll try to reenact as much as we possibly can. But you know, some of these troops have a mind of their own and they just do whatever they want at the end of the day. Uh, especially the Archer Queen. Alright guys, we're going to give this one a go. Pop down these yetis to take out that archer tower. And a quick 1-2 balloon minion combo to take down the other archer tower. Get this baby dragon going. Open up our compartment, which that was a little scary. Get the yeti down. As soon as he gets close to destroying that dark barrack, we're going to get the other yetis going. And the super archer is right behind the yetis. King, queen. Ground Warden. Log Launcher. Get these skelly spells over here. Get this RC going. Clean up troop. Warden ability early. Get that king. Didn't get the king. But that's okay. We'll live. King is going to break through that wall. Actually, he's going to go over here. That's still fine. Take out the Royal Champion for me. Try to save my world champion ability. Just for that. Oh, we still thought. I still got the ice golem alive. Let's go. Alright, this is looking good, boys. Like we smashed this one. I think we smashed this one. Queen, stay out of the Red Ring of Death. We still got five, six, six Super Archers alive? Yeah, this base is smashed. Queen, get out of the poison! You're crazy! Oh, Queen goes down to all the bombs. Still got a couple Super Archers alive. Got a balloon. All right. If the queen did go in the in the poison of death that she loves to go hang out in, like a swimming pool, we're fine. Still got plenty of time on the board, so this base is still, still smashed. Still had two super, was it two super archers made it through? But we had like six at like 80%. That was crazy. So yeah, there's easy strategic way to get the three star and collect your book of heroes or 50 gems in that case because I think mine's going to end up being 50 gems. Um, yep. Darn. Take 50 gems. So, so is what it is, guys. 
Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel. Had a sweet little video for you guys today showing you guys this last chance qualifier challenge where we use the Yeti Super Archer Smash combination attack, which is just very strong and actually pretty fun to use. And you can use it against a lot of different style bases in Legends League and in War to pick up three star attacks. If you guys missed our last big video, we hit seven triples in one day at the 5600 trophy range in Legends League at plus 302 with three clone Hydra. A very fun video if you guys want to check that one out. If you guys like today's video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll catch you next time.